Hi guys, hey, welcome to the Wicked Kitchen. Just getting some snapshots of this amazing fried rice. I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna call it now. I'm sure we'll have the title down here, but it is super meaty using some amazing blue oyster mushrooms I found local here in Tucson, Arizona, where I am on lockdown. Sorry for the noise. You're gonna love this one. You guys, it's super quick, super easy, wicked healthy. Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna do a fried rice today. I'm gonna do a super meaty with the oyster mushrooms we got at BKW Farms down the road. I just had to look at the name again, make sure I said it right. Um, thank you for saving my ass with having these mushrooms, you guys, it's amazing. Um, so in Arizona, in Tucson, you guys, if you need any mushrooms, BKW mushrooms, uh, all organic, uh, and they come in the big clusters. I just happened to pull a couple of, apart and pieces that fell apart, so we'll make the fried rice out of that. I have some ginger, I have some green onions, I have some fancy pants, frozen peas, frozen corn. I found some snap peas at the grocery store down the street here. Uh, some chickpeas, a little extra protein. The rice, I made a whole bunch of rice yesterday. I'm gonna use this leftover jasmine rice. You can find uh, our rice recipe right here for the best perfect amazing brown rice. Um, you can also buy the package stuff. I have no problems with that and I'm sure you don't. So I heated up the stove, the oven, to 420 degrees. And I'm also heating up a cast iron pan. Go figure. But I'm also gonna use for the fried rice, I don't have a wok here. Um, remember guys, this is lockdown edition. And uh, I don't have a wok, so I'm gonna use this. It is a Teflon coated pan that came with the place that I'm in, so I'm gonna use that. I also have some teriyaki sauce. And in the UK, we have the Wicked Sticky Teriyaki Sauce. So we're gonna use a little bit of that in here. And I have ginger, so, and some of these Fresno peppers. I couldn't find any Thai chilies, so we'll use these for some heat. Okay, so for the ginger, I am just gonna do this briefly. So if you guys have seen this with the spoon, it's really helpful. Just peels. Instead of taking a whole large chunks off of it, it's just good to help peel the ginger. And this isn't a new trick, but I don't know how much people know and what they don't do or don't know. So it's good, it gets most of the skin off. The cast iron pan's almost hot enough, so I'm just gonna trim this. And how I trim this, as I just cut a little bit off the end, right? And then it sits and rests nicely. So then I can slice it. Okay, and I'm looking for maybe a couple tablespoons full of chopped ginger. And I just like to cut long, thin strips like this. And then I'll just roughly and we're gonna set this to the side and use it in a little bit when we're ready to do the stir fry. So the pan is going well. I'm gonna start to do the mushrooms, a little bit of oil into the cast iron. So it's really nice and warm. I'm just gonna add the mushrooms right to it. So these are all just petals that I kind of just tore. They were all the odds and ends of the mushrooms, so I just tore them off. Put them just like that. Still gonna press them. I want that sear on all surfaces of the mushroom. Because I'm not doing the steaks, I'm gonna season these like this and then flip them over. So a little bit of salt, some black pepper. Cover on the surface. I get a little bit of garlic powder here. Maybe a little bit more than that. Okay. And 
So I'm gonna add some of that teriyaki sauce and you can buy us at the store. We also have the sticky teriyaki sauce from Wiki Kitchen. And that's the oven that's hot enough now. So I'm just gonna add some of this right to the top. Cause I almost want it to like caramelize and burn. Not burn, but really capture that flavor. Oven's off, I'm putting, uh, stove top's off, I'm putting this right in the oven. And now we'll start on the stir fry. Okay, so you can do all the prep ahead of time before you even start the mushrooms. It's nice to have all the mise en place up. You know, I have the peas, the corn, the snap peas, the chickpeas. I do have a couple things I need to prep up ahead of time. Ah, uh, prep up now. While the mushrooms are in the oven, I'm just gonna prep the green onion. I'm just gonna take off the bottoms and the tops. Discard those. Quick dice. Okay, on the side. I'm gonna do red onion. Green onion will be towards more towards the end when we're cooking it, but the red onion will be one of the things we'd add in the beginning. So just, uh, I'm gonna do a julienne and then cut it in half. So julienne is just uh, full lengthwise, as thin as you can make it. Okay, and then I just like to do a quick, you can cut it in half while it's whole or just like this. I just want it like that, done. And then I took the tops off of some asparagus I used last night for dinner. So if you're ever looking, like I saved this part and you can still use a good amount. So I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna hike the rubber band down a little bit and then I'm just gonna squish it down like this and just dice. Make sure they don't roll everywhere. And just use a few, few of these. So now for the fried rice part, I'm gonna get this pan nice and hot. Almost. One more minute. While I'm waiting to get the, for the pan to get hot, I love to watch the W go by. It might even go by twice. If the editor guy does that for me. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay, so the pan is definitely hot enough. And I wanna space out what I'm gonna add on here. So I'm gonna add the onions first. I'm just gonna use all this. And it's frozen corn, so it will start to leach a little bit of the water. Cook it off. Uh, I'm gonna add the ginger. I'm gonna add the chickpeas now. I'm also gonna add the snap peas. And this is on high heat. I'm gonna add the asparagus tips and then the frozen peas. I'm gonna add a little bit of the sesame oil now. Some black pepper, a good amount. I'm using a couple of pinches of that. I'm gonna use just a pinch of salt. And then I'm adding the rice right on top of this, just like this, and it's cold. So I have some of that teriyaki sauce. I am gonna add a little bit of this. Just a few tablespoons. Give it that Asian taste. Give it a quick stir. So this is great to do meal prep. I'll have this, you know, and just make a couple items to serve with it. You can have this a couple times or just eat by itself. Super easy, nothing fancy. I'm not trying to win any awards with this recipe. Just feed myself something healthy.
All right, so it doesn't take long at all, you guys. I'm just looking to heat up everything in there. It's probably like a good five minutes on the stove. I do want to slice up some of these red peppers and throw them in because I like it spicy. If you don't want it spicy, don't make it spicy. I love the spice. I'm gonna add half of these and then the other half will go on top. Good. So I'm also gonna pull the mushrooms out. These are looking great. Beautiful. I'm gonna serve this on top. So I know that I have a couple pieces in there. Get that stove off. Super easy, super simple. Nice. And the mushrooms. Nice, meaty mushrooms. Amazing. Garnish with a little bit of the green onion on the top. Some of the red peppers. And we're good to go, you guys. This is super simple. Again, not trying to win any crazy awards with this one. Just want to eat it. Stuff my face. And I know it's delicious. So thanks for uh, watching. Pretty much you guys, with this recipe, you can use any grain you have, whether you have barley in the cupboards, whatever's in your cupboard, you can use quinoa, whatever, just have it cooked off if it's cold the next day, throw in a bunch of veggies with it. Some of the sauces that we do with Wicked Kitchen are great, or any sauce that you like, mix and match, play with it. Uh, and then the mushrooms for the meaty bit. It's amazing. Thanks for following. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, you're the best. Talk to you soon. All right, guys. I hope you're having a great day because I'm about to tuck into this, which is amazing. It is really spicy. It's enjoyable. You guys, you're going to love it. Have a good one. <laughs>